He stood up and was getting angry. And one little hole there. Plot. It's not very big at all, but I think it would be perfect. And it is, wow, three quarters of an acre bigger than I thought it would be. Draw results are out. <sighs> Time to check this out. Moment of truth here to see if I drew the tag. Boom. Got it. Finally drew the any deer tag, North Dakota. Now I gotta start planning. After finding out that I drew the tag and not really having any initial leads, I knew it was time to start doing some e-scouting. Typically, when we're in North Dakota, we're hunting tree stands for whitetails. But this time, drew an any deer tag, which is good for mule deer or whitetail. And on the western side of the state, got a lot of public access, so we're going to give that a shot and hopefully get a mule deer. We'll see. You gonna said it's going to be a lot different. You said North Dakota wrong. What is oh North Dakota? Yeah, yeah North Dakota. We're in North Dakota. <laughs> After unpacking our gear, it was time to hit as many vantage points as possible to get in some scouting before the opener. Once we put our boots on the terrain for the first time, it all began to really come together. You can do a lot by scouting from aerials, but getting a ground zero look at the area really puts it all into perspective as to what the hunt ahead will be like. E-scouting gives us incredible insight, but one thing I couldn't see until I arrived was the pure beauty of the landscape. Coffee and a burrito. So rolling and so much cover in some of these, some of these coolies. So it's gonna be an exciting hunt.
Finding a bachelor group was exciting, but wasn't something to dwell on. With two days to scout on public, I needed to cast a wide net of options across the region we were hunting in case plan A, B, and C were to fail. We, uh, we've been scouting for three days, um, and the season actually opens in an hour from now. It opens at 12 o'clock noon um, on a Friday every year, so it's our first camp spot. Um, we'll see how the next few days of the season goes. Maybe we'll tag one, maybe we won't, otherwise we're going to learn something. It should be fun. After two and a half days of scouting, I was able to learn far more than I could have imagined. Based on the amount of surrounding pressure by other hunters showing up, it was apparent our abundance of options might quickly dwindle. Continuing to scout was going to be crucial. We just drove down the section line and the road dead ends right here. But there's a piece of public that's pretty much surrounded by private, which is a good sign. And then there's ag, which is what we've been having a really tough time finding is ag, so a food source. When we were going through a lot of these um, coolies and stuff in the breaks, we weren't really finding many deer, and I think it's just because of food sources are scarce. But right here, with this ag being right next to this public, I think it's a good sign. So we're going to walk down here and uh, check it out, see what kind of deer sign we can find. And if we find a lot, uh, it's set up perfect for a west wind, north wind, which is a lot of what we've been getting. Um, this might be a really good option. So find out. Today's opening day, and uh, this morning went terrible. I mean, we didn't hardly see any deer at all. And, um, and the season opened at noon. Trucks started showing up all over the place, and so we decided to just head south, and uh, actually further east as well, more into the wide open prairie, and finally found some deer. And we found two really good bucks, a bunch of deer two really good bucks and it looks like they're staying in just with this little draw down here. There's crops behind us and then there's alfalfa out here in front and they're uh, they're feeding feeding out there. There's probably a dozen deer or so but we'll be back here first thing in the morning. There's no wind tonight so there was no way we we're going to be able to make a stock on them so it's just nice to finally find some deer. We'll head back to camp here shortly and then be back tomorrow morning. Now that we'd found a bachelor group that evening I knew it was critical to get on them the next day. Facing many variables between hunting pressure and just the fact that they could easily move elsewhere in such an open terrain seemed apparent, we needed to be there the following morning at daybreak to glass these bucks up, headed back to bed. We 
we found the cut that the deer are in. The uh, only problem is, is the amount of cover that's in here. They've got, they've got trees all over in here to stay in. Bushes and trees and tons of cover. And from the amount of deer we saw last night, which was about a dozen or so, there's no telling how many are bedded in here. So you got, you know, a lot of set of eyes looking at you, trying to get in here. So we're just gonna creep in and see if we can maybe spot them. But other than that, I don't, I don't see how we're gonna get in there and make a successful stalk, not knowing exactly where they're laying. So we may end up back now. There he is. I'm pretty sure I double lunged him. I had to shoot through a little bit of brush. I had one little hole. He stood up and was getting ready to leave and had one little hole there. We looked back at the shot and it looks money. Right after I shot him, you could hear like the air being let out of him and what it sounded like, like a gurgle. He stood up and flew out of here. I don't know if my arrow stayed in him or... Chandler just spotted him down here. Holy moly. Deer is way bigger than I thought he was. Oh my gosh. Look at that buck. Unbelievable. Chandler and I came out here a few days ago, probably, was it five days ago? Four days ago? And uh, season opened yesterday. And we just happened to find our first shooters last night. Got on this one this morning in some thick cover, far thicker than I thought it was going to be. And uh, we got into 20 yards and I knew he, we were running out of, we were actually running out of um, camera battery. And so I was like, well, let's try and get him up. And so I drew my bow, stood up, made a few noises and he was looking at us, looking at us. And as soon as he stood up, I let it go. Once I could figure out which way his body was facing and where his vitals were quick quick shot man big big deer unbelievable thanks Chandler going into a hunt blind is always a bittersweet feeling not knowing what to expect comes with a sense of excitement mixed with uncertainty learning the land the animals and figuring out an efficient strategy is the ultimate reward for me punching a tag is obviously the intention and I'm thankful I was able to do so However, we don't set foot in the outdoors for that sole purpose. We do so with the purpose of the experience as a whole. The North Dakota Badlands gave me just that. An experience I will forever appreciate. Time to pack up. Time to pack up. It's really weird. We just unpacked 24 hours ago. 
but I'm not complaining. 